Hello, welcome back. Today we're finally importing our grass into Unreal Engine 4 and I'm gonna be showing you how to set up the materials. Let's do it. Welcome back to Unreal. Let's begin by importing our grass mesh, the one we assembled at the end of the last video. Leave all import setting thesis and ignore that pesky warning. Now let me move this mesh into the meshes folder real quick and I'm gonna rename it to sm underscore grass. It looks really messy right now, but we'll fix it by setting up the material. Open the material editor and delete the white color node. Then under the material tab, change the blend mode from opaque to masked. Now I want to begin by modifying the base color, but in order to do that, we need to import our textures first. I'll go back into the main window and create a new textures folder. Then I'm just gonna import all the textures we got from Substance Painter. Now let's go back into the material editor and grab a texture sample from the base color node. Next, select your base color texture and connect the RGB to the base color and the alpha to the opacity mask. And now your grass should be looking like grass. I'm gonna change the preview mesh to a plane because that makes much more sense. Nice. Now let's copy the texture sample and we'll continue with the normal map next. Change the texture to a normal map texture and then connect the RGB to the normal node. Now let's deal with the roughness, metallic and ambient occlusion maps. Copy the texture sample node once again and select the remaining texture. I messed up the connections at first, but here's the correct order. Red goes to ambient occlusion, blue goes to metallic and green to roughness. You'll see me get it right in the end. Anyway, we'll deal with the animation next. Begin by adding a simple grass wind node and drag scalar parameters of the first three nodes. Then connect the alpha channel of the base color to the remaining node. Now we need to tell Unreal which parts of the grass will move and which won't. And to that purpose we'll use a linear gradient. So please add one. To see what we're doing, right click on the node and select Start Previewing Node. You can see the gradient is horizontal, but we want it to be vertical. That way the black part won't move, which is the part that is on the ground. And we'll get a smooth transition to the part that moves the most, which is the white one. So from the V gradient node, grab a 1-6 x node. And if you preview it once again, you'll see the gradient is vertical. Next we're gonna control how much of this gradient is white and how much is black. So we can mask, so to speak, the influence of the wind. Create a power node and on the base connect the previous node we created. And for the exponent, grab a scalar parameter, which I'll call wind effect. Preview this new node and play with the scalar parameter so you can see what I'm talking about. Finally, we want to multiply the results of simple grass wind and power, and connect that result to the work position offset node. And that pretty much does it for the material. Go back into the main editor and create a new material instance from the material we just created. And finally, let me rename both so they match our naming convention. Open your grass mesh and change the material to the material instance we just created. 
Now open the material instance and tick all the parameters we just created so you can play with them. You can change the preview mesh to the grass mesh if you like. Then if you go to your grass mesh, it should be animated. Finally, to prevent the back faces of our planes from disappearing, we have to go into the material instance, open the material property or right stuff and tick two-sided. And with that, our grass is finally done. So to finish this video, let's add some grass into our map. Let's go into the foliage mode and in order to place our grass, please click on add new foliage static mesh foliage and let's call it smf underscore grass now open it and change the mesh to the grass mesh then i'll add values to the z offset so that each clump of grass is spawned at different heights then go back into the main editor and drag and drop your static mesh foliage into the foliage type and now all you have to do is paint Wait for the shaders to compile and there you go, your grass is complete now. Now since my grass is too tall, I'm gonna open the grass mesh and change the import uniform scale parameter to 0.5. Click on reimport mesh and let's go back into the main editor. I'm not liking how it looks right now, so I'm gonna delete what I have and increase the density. Now I'll paint some grass again, and I'm pretty happy with how it looks now. So there you go, I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Once again, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.